Hello and welcome from Budapest. You're watching Hungary Reports from Public Media M1 with the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sözi. Great that you can be with us. The number of migrants already caught this year illegally crossing into Hungary is more than 4,500. Furthermore, authorities have launched criminal cases against almost 40 people smugglers. That's what the Prime Minister's chief homeland security advisor told public media's all-news TV station M1. George Bakundi pointed out that in just the first few days of the new year, migration pressure was already significant. He added that the Balkan route is the busiest of all the routes for illegal migrants trying to get into the Schengen zone, while Spain and Italy as jump-off points are also quite popular for migrants. The government has released some of the results of the National Consultation Survey. It says that the overwhelming majority, 97% of those who answered, reject the sanctions imposed by the European Union on Russia because of its invasion of Ukraine. State Secretary Chaba Demeter told public media's Kossuth Radio that according to some media reports, the EU is now also planning to introduce measures that would affect nuclear power, which he says would have serious consequences for those countries more reliant on it, such as Hungary. A Hungarian court has now ordered the, de the detention of the man accused of fatally stabbing a police officer in Budapest on Thursday night. The suspect will be behind bars for at least a month, also because of the alleged attempted murder of other officers. The court pointed out that there is reasonable suspicion to detain the suspect and that the alleged attacker has confessed to the crime. However, he has appealed about not being released on bail. More than 300,000 children have had accounts open to receive government state bonds. That's what the State Secretary for Families announced on her social media page. Agnes Hornung wrote that besides parents contributing to these funds made available for their children, the government has doubled its own contributions to them. Furthermore, the interest rate is also quite favorable, with last year's being 3% above the inflation rate. Two thermal water spas in Hungary have been included in a list of Europe's top thermal spas. One is the Sejcenyi Spa in Budapest, and the other is the one at Lake Havis, which is the largest swimmable thermal lake on the planet. The British newspaper Mirror listed the top seven on the continent, including spas from Greece, Iceland, Switzerland, Britain, and France. Hungary was the only country that had two spas listed. And that's all for now, but you can always watch Hungary Reports live at about 11.15 p.m. Central European time. You can also catch the program in repeats and online. Thanks very much for watching, and Mindanyot.